Aja Fala Jokul? Ya. 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 Yukul. Yukul. Hello everyone, welcome to Iceland Close-Up. I'm always asked if it's difficult to speak Icelandic. As a native Chinese, I would say Icelandic is a tough language to learn, but it is not as hard as you think. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to correctly pronounce Icelandic, especially those long words like or. In the end, I will also show you some useful Icelandic phrases, so make sure to watch the rest of the video. So how does Icelandic sound like? In order to give you an example, I'm going to read a short paragraph for you. Malarif er staður á sunnan verðu snæfisnisi. Þar hefur verið viti allt frá árinu 1917. Nýlega var gömlu fjárhúsinum á staðnum breytt í gestastofu fyrir ferðamann. Þar geta ferða langar fingið upplýsingar um áhugaverða staði í nágræninu. So, there you go. Sounds strange, right? Icelandic is a very old language and belongs to the Nordic branch of the Germanic languages. Uh, it hasn't changed that much from the old Icelandic. So nowadays, Icelanders can fairly easily read old Icelandic sagas or literatures which were written in the 10th to 13th centuries. Lots of tourists have asked me, is it difficult to speak and learn Icelandic? Well, as my mother tongue is Chinese, which is completely different from Icelandic, my answer would be yes, but I've managed to do it. Here's my secret. Icelandic is a very phonetic language. If you know how to pronounce the alphabet, you will know how to pronounce the words. But if you don't, it can be hard. Good and dogging. Godan dagging. Godan dagging. <laughs> Golden Dajin. Yeah, Golden Dajin. So the correct pronunciation of this phrase is Golden Dajin. Most letters in Icelandic are the same as in English, but there are some that sound completely different, and some letters who are only found in Icelandic. This letter is pronounced O, like Olafsvík. Lots of tourists mispronounce this letter as D, but the correct pronunciation is Eth. In some cases, it's similar to th, for example, guadafos. So in this case, the first word is godan, which means good. And the second word is pronounced dayin and means day. So godan dayin means good morning. Icelanders use this phrase throughout the day when they greet people. Next word is a little bit long, so let's see how tourists manage to pronounce it. Hafnar Fjordur Hafnar Fjordur Hafnar Fjordur Hafnar Fjordur In this word, there are a few letters I want to mention. First is the combination of F and N. Sometimes when F and N are together, they are pronounced like BN, like Hafnar, Hafnar. Another letter is ö. This letter is not used in English and is pronounced ö. So just think of the noise you make when you want to throw up, like ö. 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 So the pronunciation of this word is Hapnafjörður. Hapnafjörður. Hapnafjörður is a town which is very close to Reykjavik. First half of the word Hapnar means harbor. Fjordur means fjord. I Jaf Jalak Joku. A Jaf Yala Yokul. Jafala Yoku. I Jaf Jal A Joku. A Yala. A Yala. Fiatla. Fiatla. Yokut. Yokut. Yeah. A Jaf Jalak Yokut. Yes. A Jaf Jalak Yokut. 
This is a volcano that erupted in 2010 and messed up all international air traffic. So let's break it down now. These words actually can be broken down into three parts. Eya means island. Fiatla means mountain. Yökul means glacier. And the correct pronunciation is Eya Fiatla Yökul. Eya Fiatla Yökul. One thing that's good to mention, when there are two L's together, they are pronounced similar to DL. For example, Yökul, Fiat, Seit, Palk, Njok. So let's move on to our last word today. How grims kirkja? How grims kirkja? Now kirka? You saved the best till last, haven't you? How grims kirkja? How grims kirkja? These words can also be divided into two parts. One is hallgrims, which is genitive declension of the Icelandic name hallgrimur. And this church is actually named after him. The other part is kirkja, which means church. So Hatlgrims kirkja literally means church of Hatlgrimur. In this word, we have the Icelandic letter E, like in Iceland, the Icelandic pronunciation of Iceland. To be honest, for me, the most difficult part is not the pronunciation, it's the Icelandic grammar. Icelandic has a four case synthetic grammar and with wide assortment of irregular declension. So these are the most difficult parts for me. It's always fun to learn some simple local words when you are visiting a new country. Here are some useful phrases in Icelandic that might come in handy on your travels. Góðan daginn Gott kvöld Góða nótt Takk fyrir Bless Já. Nei. Which word do you think is the hardest to pronounce? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoy watching this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.